Hi guys and welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, welcome. And I'm Maria and I make videos about language learning and reading books uh, and books of all kinds of genres but um, mostly horror fiction and just literary fiction and um, I'm focusing also on reading in different languages. So welcome and I wanted to share with you guys my reading goals for this year so you know what to expect from me and what I will be reading. I do not like to make like exact plans of these books I'm going to read uh, because I'm <laughs> a mood reader so sometimes I just do not feel like reading the specific book that I have planned to read but there are some books that I really want to get into this year and also finish of course and I'm going to share with you that guys but I also have just general goals that I want to achieve with my reading so stay tuned for that uh, the last two years <laughs> I wanted to read 50 books and I have challenged myself to do so on Goodreads. I set a goal for 50 books, but in both two years, 2021 and 2022, I just didn't uh, go farther than around 30 books. So it's not um, my goal. And uh, 2022 was not a great reading year for me. So this year uh, is going to be different because right now in January, I'm in the middle of four books and I'm already finished one in the first week. Uh, so I think it would be a better reading year, at least I hope so. And this year I also uh, challenged myself to read 50 books. And it's not about the number that I want to read uh, a lot of books, because I think 50 books is not a lot, uh, it's not 100 books a year. Uh, but I do think the more I will read, the more I will discover new and interesting things. And I just want to uh, enjoy reading. I think 50 books, it's it's a nice number to um, read for a year. It would be somewhere around four books a month. So I think that's realistic and some months maybe I will be reading more and other I will be reading less. Then my second goal is going to be to read uh, in different languages. And I have a couple of languages that I want to mention. So if you have been following me for a while, then you know that I'm interested in Japanese, uh, in learning Japanese, but also reading Japanese literature. And um, this year I want to read three books in Japanese um, and not graded readers or um, <laughs> books that are meant for ch Japanese children. Uh, so like children's stories, I really want to step up my game and read um, things that I really enjoy reading, that I would normally enjoy in reading in English or in Dutch. So I want to read uh, Harry Potter. I already started out uh, on my Kindle and in total I want to read three books in Japanese. So I started out with Harry Potter, the first book, The Philosopher's Stone. And I'm hoping to read this one as my second book um, somewhere towards the end of the year because this is meant, this is like non-fiction. And it's about a Japanese language that is uh, manipulated by English language and how Japanese is changing because of it. And it, this is like a very long essay. Uh, but it's of course non-fiction and it's meant for adults, not for children, so it's quite, I think, difficult to read. Uh, but I hope to to read it this year. However, this will be towards the end of the year. Right now I'm still having trouble with Harry Potter. It's uh, difficult than you would think. Um, so right now I'm just slowly reading that. But I would like to read three books in Japanese this year. Then uh, I want to read one book in Spanish uh, because I have studied Spanish now for around one year and not studied it like every day, but it's it's my next, it's my second focus language after Japanese. So I do spend some time with it and, and I would like to read one book uh, this year in Spanish, which will be Cemeterio de Animals by uh, Stephen King, which is my favorite book from Stephen King. It's Pet Cemetery. And I have read it before, of course, so I know what the story is about. And I would love to read it in uh, Spanish and to see how much I would understand and just make a lot of notes of the new vocabulary that I will learn. Uh, the Japanese books and the, this book in Spanish will not count toward the 50 books that I'm going to read this year because uh, this is more for language learning and not like for pleasure reading because I still, in both languages, I still have to learn a lot and I think I'm not going to understand everything so this is more like a study a fun way of studying for me and not uh, like real reading I think so this um, four books in total will not count towards the 50 books in Russian I want to read three uh, books and this will be count towards this 50 books because I am fluent in Russian and 
I just want to read more. Right now, I'm reading the fastest and like I'm reading the most in English and in Dutch. However, Russian is my native language, but I do not read much in it. So this year I want to read three books and two of them I will be reading for an online um, book club that I will be joining this year. And this will also be the first time that I'm be joining a book club. I have never done a physical book club or an online book club. So this will be the first one for me. And on the list uh, for the whole year of reading, uh, the program is already done will be two Russian books and I want to read them in Russian. One of those books is going to be The Brothers Karamazov by Dostoevsky and I have the Russian version of the book which is a very pretty one I think. It's quite long so um, around 800 pages so it will take me a while but it's one book a month uh, for this book club so I uh, will be reading this one I think in May. Um, so if you want to read along as well uh, check out the book club that I'm going to mention because it's on YouTube uh, and the last book that I'm going to read in another language is this one and it's uh, The Schönsten Gedichten by um, Rainer Maria Rilke it's the first time that I will be reading Rilke and I do like to read poems these are a collection of, of his poems in the original language uh, I have studied German a little bit in high school and I've also graduated with German in my like uh, diploma However, like most of us know, when you're studying a language in high school, you don't really learn to read a lot in it. And also my speaking skills are just uh, horrible in German. So I would like to read a little bit more and see how my German is right now. And it's just, it's just poems uh, without translation. So I will just read through them and see how much I will understand and maybe translate a couple. Uh, this one will also, I think, not count toward the 50 books because, again, German is just, yeah, I'm at a beginner level, so I think it will take me a while to understand what's in here. But I would love to read it in its original language. And my third goal, like I said, is going to be to join a book club. And I like to join the um, a Game of Tomes <laughs> book club, which is uh, hosted by Karen Maria Reeds and by Emmy. Uh, both are great YouTubers that I watch for my book recommendations and also I just love the videos and the books that they're reading. I will uh, link both channels down below so you can check out for yourself uh, and I'm going to participate in this book club. So one of the books that I'm going to read in Russian is Brothers Karamazov but also uh, on, the, on this list is uh, Yevgenia Anigin. That's my second Russian book that I'm going to read and it's by Pushkin. And my third book I still haven't found yet for Russian, so um, uh, I, will <laughs> I will make a choice somewhere this year what, will, what my third book will be. But yeah, I'm very excited to um, take part in a book loop and to read uh, certain books that are already like in this program list for the year. Uh, and the book of January is A Farewell to Arms by uh, Ernst Hemingway. I have this book on my e-reader so I will start reading it soon because we are already like almost in the middle of January. So I have to start quickly. Then for my fourth goal, I have a couple of long books on my uh, bookshelves that are up there for like years and I wish to read them for a long time. But every time I just don't come around to do so because they're quite long and like I said I'm a mood reader so sometimes I just don't feel like it. But this year are uh, these specific four books I really want to read and finish. And now I realize that I have my third book for Russian because one of those books is in Russian. I totally forgot that. But it's War and Peace by Leo Tolstoy and uh, it's divided in two books but it's actually of course one book. Um, and these are in Russian, so this will be my third book for Russian. And I have wanted to read War and Peace for a very long time now. I hear that a lot of people love this book and that... Um, and of course it has a big influence on a lot of other literary works and just it's a, it's a very famous book. So I really want to start reading it. I have started reading it uh, last year, but I didn't come far. So this year I want to finish it and it's uh, I think a little bit more than a thousand pages uh, together. <laughs> then I have a book by Haruki Murakami uh, which is Kafka on the Shore. I have started this one years ago <laughs> and then stopped reading it. I came uh, until page 358. I don't know why I, st I stopped uh, reading it but um, yeah this one is in Dutch that I'm reading. Um, 
but yeah, I want to start rereading it from the beginning and this time finish the book because I think I, I really did enjoy it. I just stopped reading it. Maybe because it's too long and I'm not good at reading long books. I enjoy shorter books more. And I have a second book by Haruki Murakami that I really want to read this year and it's 1Q84. Um, which I think is a reference to 1984, which I also have to read. <laughs> But uh, that's not on my must-read list for this year. Um, but yeah, it's a very long trilogy by Haruki Murakami. And it's a dystopian novel, as I understand. And it's something that I really enjoy reading. So I hope um, to finish it this year. It's also, I think, more than 1,000 pages. So it will be a challenge. And I think it will take me at least a month to read it. And the fourth book on this list is Dracula by Bram Stoker. I wanted to read it last December. Uh, it was on my TBR, but again, I just didn't uh, start reading it <laughs> uh, because I was reading other books. And it's not only Dracula because Dracula is a little bit shorter than this uh, book. Um, but this is Dracula and Older Stories by Bram Stoker. And I just want to read this whole uh, book, this whole edition. Uh, so yeah, that's something I think I will be reading towards... Uh, October, November of the year. Then my fifth goal, um, if you have noticed my background, which is one of my favorite bookshelves, it's full of literary fiction. I have another bookshelf which is more focused on uh, medical books and science books because that's what I, in the field that I'm working in. But this is all fiction and uh, this is my, like, my inspiration bookshelf that I have a lot of books that I still want to read. And one of the books that I'm going to reread this year is The House of Leaves. So I have read House of Leaves in 2020, yeah, the first time. And uh, this is one of my favorite books of all time. I just I loved it. Uh, it was so good, but it also was very scary and strange. And uh, if you're familiar with this book, you know why. <laughs> So um, this is a very difficult book to read. Uh, there are complex characters, they're like four narratives uh, intertwined. And it's also the way it is um, written. It makes it a little bit weird and uh, difficult to read. It can make you claustrophobic, with, uh, which was in my case. And it also gave me nightmares. But this book is like the most memorable book that I have ever read ever in my life. <laughs> Uh, it's the most influential book for me. So for this year, I want to reread it, uh, make even more notes and see what I have missed because I think I have missed a lot of things uh, when I re was reading it the first time. And I will start rereading this book in February and I hope it uh, one month will be enough, so the month of February. So if you want to start reading this book for the first time or maybe reread it or uh, you have started this book once and then stopped reading it like I do with some of my books, um, you can start out with me in February and we will read together. So I will make another video where I start reading this book and <laughs> give you also some tips on how to read it because it can be quite complex. When I was reading it the first time in 2020, um, I, in the middle of the book, I just, I didn't know how to continue reading and what and how to read the story because you have like the footnotes that are um, all of a the sudden there, <laughs> like in the middle of the story and you don't know if you have to read the story or the footnotes and there's also a lot of references that you have to look up um so uh i just stopped reading it and started looking online on how to read this book and i it helped me a lot to continue reading uh so i will make a video with tips and tricks for this book <laughs> and on the end of february when i'm finished with this i will make a video about an, like an in-depth analysis of the book an in-depth review so let me know if you're also interested in rereading or reading this book for the first time and uh, we will read together. This is like one of my horror fiction shelves, but um, I do have like more horror books which are not fitting on the shelf. Uh, but this is like one of them. Then my next goal is maybe a little bit strange, uh, but I would like to read the Bible this year. And this is the Oxford uh, edition, uh, the authorized King James Version with the ap Apocrypha. Um, and it's not for religious uh, reasons that I'm going to read the Bible, it's for literary ones. Uh, because the Bible is one of the most influential books in the world. And a lot of uh, literary works mention biblical texts and there's a, a lot of reference to the Bible, of course. Uh, one of the books that I want to read someday, <laughs> maybe this year, maybe um, another year, is uh, The Divine Comedy by Dante. And I know it's, of course, 
a lot of the things in there are based on the text from the Bible. There are a lot of references to the Bible and I want to just to read it um, to, to understand these references. So yeah, that's something that I will be reading slowly. I'm not going to finish, I think, this year, but it's just uh, sometimes I will read in it and see how far I will come. And I don't know if I'm going to read it like from cover to cover or just certain passages, but um, yeah, I will be reading the Bible this year. So that's one of the goals. Also, I'm going to finish The Lord of the Rings this year, which is my uh, sixth goal, I think. We're somewhere around the sixth goal, I think. Um, and I only have to read The Return of the King and then I'm finished with the series. I have read uh, The Two Towers last year. I really enjoyed it. It was one of my favorite books of the year list. Um, so I'm very excited for the last book on the ser in the series. And I don't know when I'm going to start reading it. I think when I'm finished with The House of Leaves. So maybe in March. And the last goals uh, will be focused on reading more Stephen King. I'm still like trying to read all the works from Stephen King so I have some more books to read. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to read like very long books from him this year like The Stand. It's also on my list but I don't because I'm reading all the longer books I think I'm not going to um, finish The Stand this year but I want to read his older books and just continue reading Stephen King. Another series that I want to continue reading is A Song of Ice and Fire uh, or A Game of Thrones. So I've read the first book last year and I'm going to start reading the second book soon. So these are all of my goals. I hope this gives you a little bit of like a feeling for what I'm going to read and what you can expect from my channel. And let me know uh, in the comments down below which books you're going to read this year that you really want to read this year and to finish. Uh, reading and yeah we can talk about books in the comments so thank you for watching and i will see you next time goodbye